guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. For those of you who are brand new to the channel, hey, hi, welcome. Don't forget to come into the comments and say hello. I will reply later on today. Um, I'm going to pull from Archangel Michael's Sword of Light Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what your message is from Archangel Michael. Ooh, card 21, open up to your spiritual gifts. Perfect. Remember that your true nature is spiritual, not physical. The angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth. Ooh, and I love that. And 21, two and one is three, and numerologically, when I see the three, I'm all, almost always thinking of um, like the three of pentacles, where there's like a, a trinity, right? And um, the divine is always there. The divine is always present. It's me, it's the universe, and it's the divine. That's my, when I think of the number three. So I hope that you can now have a little internal mantra for yourself um, around that co-creative, right? Relying on your spiritual gifts. You're here to serve. If you're here on this channel or any other tarot channel, um, you're a light worker. That's part of why you're here is you're seeking clarity and information and, you know, ways to, um, evolve on your spiritual path. So remember you have support, um, not just from yours truly, but obviously from your spiritual team. So what I'm going to do is pull the spread, give you the general, my general impressions. We'll get details from the clarifiers. Ah, wow. Five of cups and the queen of wands. So something here has happened in the past, obviously, and it's kind of still bugging you out. It's, it's probably got you feeling a bit disempowered since the Queen of Wands is what's crossing here. That's the difficulty. That's the challenge. Is it's hard to sort of make peace with the past if you're feeling very um, disappointed and disempowered in your unconscious awareness. Wow, there's some anticipation. Maybe you're, you're focused internally on manifesting something. In the past, it was all about this um, energy of happiness and emotional sense of completion and bliss and joy. Um, and your focus now is on being happy. This um, very interesting energy is all about, you know, when we get to that point where we've come through something difficult and we get to the other side and it's almost like it's, it, it belongs to me. I, I really do deserve this. It's not a selfish thing. It's a, I came through some stuff and I still felt a little bit of power to impact the outcome, to set a new intention, to manifest something that has sort of slipped through my fingers in the past. And wow, yeah, taking no substitutions. The Seven of Wands in the near future tells me, because I'm reading for those of you watching, even if you're here as a cross watcher, that it's about um, your self-determination. It's about stepping in to say, no, uh-uh, here, this is, this is taking a stand for what you want, this happiness that you desire. So it feels good, um, albeit coming from some kind of letdown in the past. So it's like a recovery. Let's see the five of cups and queen of wands. There's the three of pentacles. Yeah, you've got your, your you're in, in cahoots with spirit here. Um, I do feel like you're not sure um, that this person is invested, that they're part of your little trinity, right? Like you, your divine counterpart and spirit, that would be your trinity in this situation, your divine counterpart coming through with King of Cups. Either someone who struggles to communicate their feelings and emotions, King of Cups is associated with the sign of Scorpio, or just someone who's the keeper of your heart. 
and you know has kind of a powerful hold on you. And the six of wands underneath is maybe what you're calling toward you. The three of wands is an anticipation card, a manifestation card, and maybe what you're after is some form of reconciliation, right? Where can we kind of recover together? Um, that scared me. So, so that's what I'm seeing here, guys. Let's look at the three of wands in your unconscious awareness. The blow of it all, more Scorpio energy. Yeah, manifesting some growth change and transformation here. There's you know, um, open to positive messages, having a positive outlook, um, but understanding that there may be a bigger plan, right? And that things have to unfold um, in divine time. So the Three of Wands is happening internally. It's almost as if you know you've already set something in motion. And part of it has to do with maybe a fresh start right? Something that brings you in this connection through some form of transformation. So that's what you've set in motion. The three of wands would be it arriving. And at least on some level, you're aware that you kind of have to give it to the universe. You kind of have to give it over um, and allow it to unfold in divine time. If it's meant to be, it will be. So let's look at the 10 of cups in the past. Six of Swords, Justice, Judgment. I feel like you, um, you had a rough time and you thought you came back from it with your person, specifically restoring some harmony, some balance, some fairness, getting beyond things, reconciling or reuniting. The judgment card can just come through as second chances at that happily ever after. I think you had it and then I get the impression that you lost it. Somehow, somewhere, I'm feeling like you've been through this experience in this connection before. Um, and yet now you're sort of setting the course for maybe a pivot, a shift in your desired outcome in terms of what you're manifesting. So your outlook is changing. That was then, this is now. The sun in your conscious awareness, two of swords. Yep, absolutely. So beautiful energy here. Yes, this is my crossroads moment. I get to decide, I have to choose now, if I'm going to pivot, what is it that I want? I want to be happy. I want to feel safe and protected in my vulnerability in a connection. And I've learned a lot. The world is Saturn, the great teacher and the Lord of karma. And good, goodness knows we often learn lessons the very hardest of ways. So I feel that I'm seeing uh, the setback and a potential attempt at recovery um, because you're shifting your, your perspective, you're shifting your outlook, the page of swords coming in underneath, sort of like, yeah, I'm going to keep my eyes open. This is the little spire detective of the tarot. Um, you know, I'm going to see things as they are, not how I want them to be. I'm constantly picking up clues and cues with your interactions with this person but with the world card it's about closing out the difficult cycle uh, you know the past disappointments and preparing for a new beginning and that's what i think i'm seeing i feel like this is a cycle that you've been through in this connection um, more than once and so when that happens it sort of um, it knocks us for a loop in a little bit of a way and it feels like you're trying to recover so let's see the seven of wands in the near future <laughs> oh my goodness okay so i am uh, sometimes i get the impression that the seven of wands is about taking a stand right this is like a good boundaries card Four of Pentacles is too, but I feel this is a really good boundaries card. It's like the, oh, hell no, you're not coming at me. 
I'm going to push back against this. Um, the Page of Cups, some message of love, maybe of apology coming from your beloved and, you know, sort of in support of the connection, you're coming in saying, I will not settle for anything less, right? I, I, I've, I've cast my, I've made my choice. I've set my intentions. I'm, you know, operating in full faith with what it is I'm trying to manifest. I'm trusting that the universe has my back, will grant the wish, right? The dream will come true. So it does feel like there's this taking a stand for nothing less than something sincere, a message from the heart or a message of apology or a message of love. Um, but the seven of wands can also be resistance. So stick a pin in that because you're at this crossroads moment. What have you learned? What more do you need? What more information do you need to ferret out so that you know you're on that path toward the happiness you desire, the success in this relationship that you believe is possible, or maybe you don't. So when it arrives, are you prepared to be open to it? That's the question. So maybe we'll get a hint about that over in the extended. Um, and before I give you the astrology here, there are links in the description box below. I have numbered them one or two or three, three different ways that you can get access to the extended versions. The one that says one time <laughs> purchase is for this reading only. The other two are monthlies. So check that out. Um, also, I'm not sure I mentioned it at the beginning. <laughs> But I do have a special on my private readings for In Honor of Lion's Gate. That portal opens on July 28th, closes, I think, around August 12th. But the peak is 8-8 every year. Lion's Gate is a powerful energetic manifestation and ascension portal, specifically powerful for twin flame dynamics, soulmate partnerships. So if you've been wanting a private reading, they are $88 off for the month of July. You book in and then uh, the readings will follow um, second half of July and August. So that's available. Check that out. It's never I, like I haven't done it for um, that price point in a couple of years. So that's for you. That's my thank you for all of you who have been really helping a girl out um, with regard to all the ish with the YouTube algorithms. So thank you for helping me get seen by coming into the comments, by being active, by sharing the videos. It means everything to me. So thank you. Here we go. Queen of Wands is associated with the sign of Aries, King of Cups, Scorpio. Uh, we have the death card, Scorpio, page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The wheel of fortune is Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. Justice is Libra. Judgment is um, Pluto, which, wait for it, rules Scorpio. So we know we're in a Scorpio reading. The sun is the sun, which rules the sign of Leo. The world is Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and the star is Aquarian energy. Please note that the only page we don't have here is the Page of Pentacles. Um, and so what I'm feeling here is we're just about ready to take a, a fresh step forward. So I'm seeing the page energy as it comes through in this reading as almost like a reset right? Going back to the beginning, making sure that we're on the same page, that we're talking the same language, and then rebuilding a solid foundation so that whatever this pattern is with disappointments and regrets of the past or mistakes of the past or a sense of kind of moving backwards, um, yeah, so we kind of get moving forward. That's what I have for you. I am headed to the extended now. If you've enjoyed the reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, yeah. And if you have been subscribed, but you're not getting notifications, all I do to reset my, 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 uh, YouTube is I delete the app. I bring it, I reopen it and that kind of clears out the cache. 
okay, which is spelled C-A-C-H-E. Um, so that it gets all the gunk out and resets and then I start getting notifications again. So it happens to me too on the channels that I like to watch. So just saying, that's what I have. I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.